Hola, how is everyone doing? Happy Sunday. This is going to be a quick live. I'm going to call it a car live. I'm not sure if I've ever done a car live before. I find them to be really interesting. I do like car lives. So today I'm on the run. So it was best that I did a live in the car before I finish out the rest of my day. So yeah, so I wanted to talk about our children's zone of genius, or for short, ZOG. I'm not sure if anyone has ever heard of this before. When I first heard about this, I thought it was something really mysterious, and I was like, what's this ZOG? I was reading all about ZOG. And then I found out that ZOG is just knowing your raw talents, um, the skills that you possess and um, it is said that once you tap into that and you understand what it is that cre makes you you that creates you you uni as unique as you are then you can navigate through life and find avenues that will help you always stay in your zone of genius or in other words being the best that you can be in what you do and how you do it that sets you apart from everyone else. So that was going around really heavy last year online all over. I read that and it was catered towards adults because as we all know, we are, a lot of us are still looking for our raw gifts and talents. And we all know that at the end of the day, if you can find something that you're really passionate about and, um, you could use it as a hobby or an outlet for you, or you can try to turn your passions into a business. So I was thinking about that, and then I was thinking a lot about children, and you know, it would really be great if we could capture that a lot sooner than later, trying to figure out what our talents are and our gifts and, and what sets us apart from the world. So I was thinking, you know, how could we foster that with our children? So I actually have written a post up on five ways to foster your child's zone of genius or ZOG. Um, today here on live, I'm just going to share two. Uh, by tomorrow or maybe later on this evening, I may post the blog post. The article, I had a couple of things I wanted to tweak on it um, because there was a book that came to mind at the last minute that I thought would really be great for your children to engage in. Hola, Norman. How are you? And so I wanted to add that into the article and I wanted to add a video that I actually did with that book that I think will help you help your child find their zone of genius or their zog. So we're talking about zone of genius, Norman, how to find that in your children, how to foster it, how to nurture it so that they can always operate from their strengths as best as possible every day. And I was just talking about real quick on how we as adults sometimes don't realize what, or we've lost our way, some kind of way where we've forgotten what we were really good at. And we started kind of doing what everybody else was doing in the world instead of being ourselves. So I, I was just talking about how it would be really great if we could figure that out for our kids first, if possible. I will. I will give the family your love. I miss everybody. Love you too. And then we could facilitate from there. Okay, so one of, um, I, I do this all the time and I almost feel like I need to just do my introduction in the middle because for some reason I cannot do it at the start and I write it down every time. But for anyone that doesn't know who I am, my name is Shauna Hibbets and I am the creator of eNanny Link, which is an on and offline comprehensive tools on everything child care for families from A to Z. And I have an online presence with my website and articles and I connect with families there. And I have an offline presence where I provide personal child care services for families in their homes. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. Over the 20 plus years I've been an early childhood educator, I have joyfully cared for over 10,000 children. So I have worked with children on all levels and all ages. And I'm also a mom myself. So yeah, so let's get into the two ways that you can try to tap into and foster your child's zone of genius. So one of the ways and the first way you want to start off is take notes. 
take note, you could take a mental note about what your child is really good at, or you can actually have a notebook and start, you know, taking progress, taking notes, checking things from month to month, because this is going to change. But there's always going to be something that your child does the same that is really, really good at that really separates them from everyone else. And that could be the very silver in the, what do they call that? Silver lining <laughs> that, or the pot of rainbow that you can discover and help find for your child early on. And then once you find that you can start building on those strengths with activities with books with the people that they hang around the circle that you have around your children the teachers the counselors all of that will can be you know built on later on so by the time they're teens or you know going to high school or pre-teens they pretty much have a great confidence level on who they are what they can do in this world and where they can go so that's where I'm going with this. And so that's one way is to take notes. Take note on what your child is good at. Um, the second thing you want to do, will do from there is after you come up with the activities, there are, um, I don't know how young, some children can get into the arts as young as three, depending on their gifts and talents. But the arts of any level or um, sports on any level can also help you figure out your child's zone of genius. You know, what are they good at? Or are they more academic? You know, are they more academically inclined? Are they able to problem solve in a way that other children are able to problem solve for their age? What is it that sets your child apart from everyone else? And hola, whoever else is, is looking on, I'm not sure who it is. I see two other people. We're talking about zone of genius for our kids called Zog and so once you find it you just facilitate it so yeah so those are a couple of quick tips on zone of genius I have a post coming out soon I will post it here or maybe tomorrow I'm not sure I got to tweak a couple of things I wanted to tweak in there for you first but I will let you know that one actually has five different ways that you can foster their zone of genius but hopefully that will be a really good start for you, especially since school is coming, children are moving on to preschool, they're moving to different levels, or if you're still working with your child at home, that is really perfect because you have a lot more time to watch your child in your environment and different spaces to see where it is that their zone of genius actually lives. So I hope that works out for everybody and I hope everybody has a great week. Thank you, Norman, for hanging on. And anyone else that comes and see this, make sure you let me know your replay viewer and please interact with the video just as if it was live and I will get back to all comments as soon as possible. Thank you so much and everyone have a great Sunday. Adios. Ciao.